Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're about to begin our program this evening. I want to thank all of you in the audience, KQD, local heroes, Native community. Welcome, Mayor's Office, all that are a part, the supervisors, all that have a part in this greeting tonight. <clears throat> Before we get underway, as Native people, we do not separate church and state. They are one, they are the same. Everything we do before we begin, begins with a prayer or a prayer song. This time, we're gonna call the esteemed members of the Ohlone people, the Rumsey Ohlone people to come forward to offer, render a prayer song, if you would. I'll turn it over to you, thank you. The first people of this land, before this, became San Francisco, part of the Bay Area. This was and is indigenous land. Recognize and honor their legacy in this great land of ours. Inkate, Inkate, Inkate. Welcome to Ramatush speaking territory. This is the village of Ulamu. We are the Kosanon Rumson Carmel tribe, and we are the tribe that still does ceremony here today. Thank you all for joining us. It's an honor and a privilege to honor everyone here. So thank you, Shururu, from the bottom of our heart. Ka Inkarat Carla Marie Munoz, Gaha Kosanon Rumson Carmel tribe. Uh, this is Sam, and this is Desiree, and we are the Kosano Rumson Carmel tribe. Oh. You may be seated. Thank you for standing. Let me welcome each and every one of you officially to this annual event. When we come together as Native people to honor and to recognize our lo local heroes, my name is Tom Phillips. I'm a member of the Kiowa tribe. I immigrated to San Francisco in 1962, been here ever since. And I love the people here, love the culture, appreciate the heritage that was displayed in the prayers, the humbleness, the graciousness of our native California people. And I want to extend the appreciation to our committee, April, Aurora, and those that had a part in this grand celebration. We're gonna begin our program this evening by bringing in our dancers. Dance is very important. In fact, it's paramount in Native culture. We dance for all that we have. We dance for Thanksgiving. We dance for dedication. We dance for renewal. We dance for 
naming ceremonies, for name giving ceremonies, for weddings, funerals, all that we do, we dance to praise Creator and thank Him for our well being. This time, we're going to present our dancers and the All Nation singers in what we call the Grand Entry. So, dancers, be ready. Bringing in the Eagle Staff, the flag of many, many nations. Randy Shirley, bringing in our flag. Following behind him, from the Diné Nation, the Navajo Nation, Larry Harrison. And behind Larry, Aurora Mamea, Blackfoot Nation. The great state of Montana. Behind her from the Nez Perth, the Nami Poo Nation. Najoni Ellingwood, Idaho. And these two young fancy shawl dancers from our native nations. And our fancy war dancer. Dancers, dancers, you excuse. Go ahead. Dancers, you excuse. We'll bring you back a little bit later for exhibitions. But right now, you may be seated, audience. Thank you for standing. Thank you very much for standing. At this time, we're going to bring up uh, Andrew Jolibet to give introduction to the mayor, to invite the mayor to the podium. So, Andrew, thank you. Halito, thank you. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Andrew Jolivet from the Opelousa Ishak Nation in southwest Louisiana. I want to give gratitude to the Ohlone people. Uh, oh, uh, whose territory we're standing on. Uh, I also serve as the current uh, board president of the American Indian Cultural Center and the outgoing executive director. April McGill is our new executive director. 
And I want to really just take a moment, I know I'm gonna do thank yous at the end, but to really thank the mayor's staff that has worked uh, very hard to help us to put this event on. Um, and I wanna thank the mayor, uh, the Honorable London N. Breed, for joining us tonight and for recognizing the importance of our communities, uh, our first peoples, the humility with which we walk, uh, the importance with which uh, we honor the seven generations that came before. And so the efforts uh, of the individuals being recognized tonight uh, speaks to those seven generations that are coming. So I thank you for your uh, commitment to this uh, event and we look forward to working with you over the years to come. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Mayor London Inbreed. Thank you, Andrew. Hi, everyone. It is so great to see each and every one of you here at City Hall for this amazing celebration. Thank you and welcome to the American Indian Heritage Celebration, your celebration. We are, we are gathered here in December because the winter solstice traditionally begins a season of storytelling and ceremony for many tribes. This celebration pays homage to those who were here first and remembers the culture, values, and community that our indigenous brothers and sisters represent. In San Francisco, we're the Ohlone. The Ohlone people called home. We have a rich history of native culture. And it is important that we celebrate that and we acknowledge it, which is why the early days statue was removed as soon as it was approved. <laughs> Representing, you know, a past that is important to discuss so that we don't repeat the mistakes of what we've done in the past. We honor this community and make sure that people understand the role that you all play in making this city, this country, a vibrant one. And that is why on October 8th of 2018, we formally proclaimed Indigenous Peoples Day for the first time in the city and county of San Francisco. And my, my hope is that other cities across the United States will take note and do the same, to learn about the values and traditions that are deeply embedded in the Native American culture. There are a couple of values in this culture, the cult of ethics that sticks out to me, especially considering the times that we are all living in. The first is to be tolerant of those who may have lost their path as these individuals need us to guide them to their purpose. The second is to share your wealth and good fortune with others. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Supervisor Valley Brown. Thank you, Mayor Breed, for your support and kind words. And thank you to the American Cultural Center of San Francisco for this invitation. Uh, thank you to the Olani tribe for letting us be here on their land and live here on their land. And I also want to thank my heritage and culture and tribes of the Shoshone and Paiute in the Utah territories. Yes, uh, today I'm so proud to recognize the work of incredible advocates in our community. Morning Star Gully. Yes, please. Laura Cedito. Mary Morris. And Dwayne Potter. I'm encouraged by the work we have already accomplished together from taking down and the removal of the racist early days statue to celebrating Indigenous People Day 
in San Francisco. I never really thought we would see this. And I'm amazed that now we have our own day of honor. Well, one thing that we should celebrate in our culture is our traditions and heritage. And it's another thing to prioritize our equity. And as a Native American and in the, with the indigenous leaders, we have to have a seat at the table. Yes. We have to have a seat at the table. If we're, to get, if, we're to, if we're able to ask for what we need and what we need as a people to be successful and to grow. The equity lens is, and having a seat at this table and prioritizing our native and indigenous community where we're able to create things that is going to be important for us like housing, jobs, uh, health and education. It also means investing in our native youth. Our youth is our future. And our youth will bring us a brighter future. Lastly, if we're to come together, we need to prioritize our unity. We need to look for alliances. We are only 1% of the population in San Francisco. We need to have alliances. We will build our alliances to be powerful. I believe in our power. I believe in our people. And I believe this is one of the first days that we have that we're going to push together for what we need in our community. A seat at the table, equity, and also a home for that table as in a cultural center. Thank you everyone for coming today. And um, I'm not sure who the next speaker is. You? Okay. Thank you everyone and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you Supervisor Brown. Tonight, we are very fortunate to have the wife of Mayor Ed Lee, Anita, and also Tanya, his daughter. Now, the fight for the Indigenous Peoples Day at the Board of Supervisors came to be because Mayor Ed Lee met with now President of the Board of Supervisors, Malia Cohen, and they both agreed to partner to carry this legislation and it was passed by the Board of Supervisors. It was because of his leadership and commitment to this community is why we were able to move forward with that legislation. And I'd like to ask um, Andrew to come back up along with April McGill to join me in honoring the Lee family for Mayor Ed Lee's commitment to the city and county of San Francisco and ensuring that all communities are part of the vibrancy of what makes our city an incredible city. So Andrew, April. Arthur, can we ask them to come up? We'd like to ask the Lee family to come up. Thank you, thank you, Mayor Breed. So the American Indian community wanted to recognize the late Mayor Ed Lee for all his support. So just the significance of us wanting to um, continue to remember him um, is, is just really beautiful. And so we, we decided to give him this frame with pictures of him at all of our events for his family. And I know he's looking down. I know he would love this. And um, so I just feel really honored to, to have you both here for that. So thank you. Thank you to the Lee family again for being here.
And yes, on December 12th, it will be one year ago. And we are really humbled and honored to have you here, but more importantly, to honor the legacy of Mayor Ed Lee and the work that he did for all San Franciscans. Clearly a person who was always present, always available, and pushing so many incredible projects to move our city forward. So thank you again so much for being here today. Okay, Andrew, I need your help again. <laughs> We wanted to honor so many amazing individuals in the community, and at this time, I would like Andrew to assist me in handing out uh, certificates, thanking you all for your service um, in various arenas. Um, so, Andrew, at this time. Do you want me to, do you want to name the first person? Sure, yes. Do you want me to read it, or you? Yeah, okay. Laura Cedillo. Community Programmer at the Native American Health Center. They'll give it to you. They're going to take a picture. Yeah, they're going to take a picture with you. Morning Star Gali from the International Indian Treaty Council. Take a picture before I call her. Dwayne's not here. I don't think he is. Yeah. And Mary Trimble Norris. I, before Mary comes up, I would like to. Dwayne, I don't. Potter uh, could not join us, but he's a former staff member at Friendship House of San Francisco. So if we could just give Dwayne a round of applause. And Mary Trimble Norris, Executive Director at the American Indian Child Resource Center. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> All right, they are ready. Come on out, Larry. My good friend, thank you. Sakalo. Just a traditional, Randy, you're next. Larry, Larry. The old style, traditional. The first dance. Two starts, Larry, two.
applause our traditional dancers. All right. And now we bring out our grass dancer, Randy Shirley, two stars, if you would, grass dance. This dance came after the traditional. It was a dance that was, that was uh, given to the rest of our people by the Omaha in Nebraska. Out on the prairie, the grass grew real tall. These dancers would come and dance down the grass to prepare for the ceremonies for the rest of the dancers. So at this time, they got their name, the Grass Dancers. We're going to have one song, two starts. If you would, when you're ready, singers, give them a song. Grass Dancers, stand by, Pansy. Jimmy Wood, our Pansy War Dancer. This dance originates from Oklahoma. The Pansy War Dance among the Ponca people. Spread throughout Indian country all the way into Canada. All right, young man, it's all yours. Give him a nice show. Here we go. Take it away, all nations. Pansy War Dance. Good job. Showcase our women traditional Aurora Nijoni. Come forward, these are the ladies from the Northern Plains, from Montana and Idaho, these two beautiful ladies. And a young one dancing with her as well. All right. Give them two starts for these uh, traditional dancers and the little one as well. He is dressed in Dene, Navajo style, old style. Our women have a special place in the circle. They are the homekeepers. They're the ones that take care of our children, that raise them, that educate them. Our women have the burden of that responsibility, and they do a good job and do it well. So when you're ready, singers, give them a song. Each, each dance has its own song, so they're getting an appropriate song. Najoni is from the Nez Perce, Nemipu. Representing that culture with her regalia. Aurora from the Blackfeet Nation. And the little one, Dene, from the Navajo Nation.
women traditional. Give them a nice round of applause and a thank you. And the final category we have this evening are the fancy shawl dance. Girls, we have two young dancers, and this dance originated in South Dakota. It was originally from the old style that you see here, where the women carry their shawls in their arm. A brave young lady draped the shawl over her shoulders. Gracie, her mini horses from South Dakota, and began to dance in this style, and it be caught on around the country. At this time, we present Fancy Shawl Dance, or sometimes called a butterfly dance. When you're ready, all nations, Fancy Shawl. Fancy shawl dancers, all right. At this time, we're gonna take a little break. We're gonna bring the recipients of the recognitions back up to the podium to express yourselves. So come on back up here, Mary and a young lady here in front. I'm sorry, I didn't get the names of the ones that received the awards and recognition. If you'd like to say a few words after that, singers, we're gonna ask you for an honor song when they are finished acknowledging people and come on up. It's kind of like the Academy Awards, so come on up. Best performance this year, these young ladies. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. And we'll have an honor song for you all after you step down on the front. Okay, thank you. Hello? Hello? Um, I wanted to thank um, the committee for selecting me for this tremendous honor. Go, Janine. And I wish you well in your endeavors to reestablish, you know, a community center here that we all really need. But also, I'd like to say um, that it's an honor to do the work I do. Can anyone see me? Hey. Sorry, guys, I'm kind of short. Rise and shine, everybody. Um, Hello, my name is Laura. Um, I'm, I'm from the Pame tribe of San Luis Potosi, Mexico. My dad is Guadalupe, and my mom's Inocencia Cedillo, and my father is Guadalupe Loera. Um, surprisingly, right? Because most people who have Lupe usually are women, but my dad's a dad. You know, my dad's a pops. I mean, my dad's my father. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. But I just want to say that I appreciate that I was one of the people chosen. I know there's different work on different fronts and I just appreciate and I was actually surprised when I got contacted. I was like, for real? And that's the first thing I said, I was like, for real, you know? But I just wanna say that I, um, I'm so grateful to be able to do the work that I do in my unprofessional life and in my professional life as well, that often merge. Um, and I wanna say that the good thing about us as native people, indigenous people, we don't look at people as disposable. And I say that because I work directly with our homeless native population, that often I learn more from them every day, um, just to actually see our homeless native population just as, as we would our own relatives on the streets. So thank you so much for acknowledging my work and I don't take it lightly. Um, so thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Good evening, I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. It's an honor to be here with you. Um, it's on the culmination of, of the celebrations and wins that we had this year. Today is International Human Rights Day, yet our rights are still 
our rights are still being violated every day as indigenous peoples. And so we, we had some amazing wins with the statue removal and with Indigenous Peoples Day as an official holiday. Um, and there's a couple of people that I want to acknowledge because it wouldn't be possible without them. And so Barbara Mumby, who's here. I just came in at the tail end of it, but Barbara Mumby, Kim Shack, Andrew Jolivet, April McGill. You know, we still have, we've accomplished a lot and there's still a lot of work to be done. And so I just want to acknowledge that, that in today, you know, we still have our relatives that, that are incarcerated across the Bay at San Quentin. We still have Leonard Peltier that's imprisoned. We, San Francisco right here is number 10 in the nation for missing and murdered indigenous women. And so there was a land acquisition that happened at the expense of indigenous women's bodies. And, you know, right here in the San Francisco Bay Area, we're fighting for the protection of our salmon and our, our water. And so we're here to celebrate, but I also just wanted to acknowledge that. And we have meetings happening in San Francisco tomorrow all throughout the week um, in, in protecting the salmon and in protecting our sacred way of life as California tribal peoples. And so I want to honor the Ramatesh peoples of this land and, and um, just acknowledge that, that you know, we're standing on the shoulders of giants here today and in, in continuing this work and that it's going to take all of us to continue to work together. So, oh. Yeah, we're going to take the Eagle Staff around one last time. If you would stand, those of us that remain, please stand. All right, all nation, let's close it down, retreat. Black song. This honors our warriors, the Gichita, the ones that carried the staff before us, that led our warriors, and our retreat. All right, thank you, Randy. One more time, Randy. Shirley. Uh -huh. Thank you, Larry Harrison. He's gonna take it around. Bring it back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shall we close with a prayer? I'm copaga dog, eager dog, side come about bonnet dog, tool on about high get up, don't keep keep on running, but dog side come pay the tool on about high get up. Hold day on it. All right, thank you very much. You may be excused. Thank you for the evening. Thank you for joining us. We invite you to come and join us for refreshments in the next room. We'll see you next year. Have a good one. Thank you.